Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so, it really helps. As you can see, today we're going to talk about this small uh, desktop power supply. It's made by a company called Alien Tech, and this particular device is the model number DP100, as you can see right here. Uh, um, this is what comes in the box. It comes with a hard case, depending on the package that you purchase. It comes with a USB, uh, it comes with an adapter from a, a barrel plug to a USB-C. Then it comes with um, a pair of uh, uh, clamps. I just had a brain fart. So these are your standard, uh, I believe these are called banana plugs. So these would go in here. And on the other side, you have clamps that you can use to provide power to anything downstream. And then it does come with the USB A to A cable. So I am going to walk you through the features and different use cases for this device. And for that, let's start with a tour around the device itself. It does feel like it's made out of metal. Uh, I don't have a way to check what kind of metal it might be, but yeah, it does feel nice in the hand. On this side, you will see that it has a USB-A port. This uh, can be an input or output. Uh, we will uh, talk about that in a bit. Then we have a, an input port, that's the power input, and it's a USB-C port. It does support power delivery up to 100 watts, and it does support direct DC input as well. I believe that goes up to 30 uh, volts. So yeah, as you will see on this side, we have the outputs. These are, by the way, backlit. Uh, the, the red denoting po positive and the blue denotes negative. When you have output coming on these two terminals, these do have a, a red and blue backlight. At the bottom, we just have a few rubber feet, and I believe there are screws in, under these feet. So if you ever needed to open it, this is how you would get inside. And yeah, on the back, there's nothing. And the screen or the HMI, is uh, tilted a bit towards the user. And then we have four uh, inputs. One is a wheel, as you'll hear. It has a small ratcheting sound. And then we have three tactile keys. So let me get started by plugging in a USB-C 100 watt capable cable. There we go. Right now, Let's look at the UI. You will see, starting from here, it says the input is 20.08 volts. Uh, the set voltage for the output is 9.53. Uh, the, uh, the current, that's denoted by I, and the voltage is, is denoted by V. So I set means uh, the, the maximum current that it will uh, provide on this output port, and the maximum voltage is 9.53. <coughs> Now on the right side, because it's not turned on yet, so you'll see everything is 000. And at the bottom, you'll see a bunch of indicators. So first of all, it says off, then it says nil, then there's lock, you can lock the key so nothing changes. Then you have a USB mode. So this mode refers to this port right here. So it has two modes, it has USB D mode and the USB H mode. In the D mode, it basically provides a 5 volt 1 amp output on this port and in H mode it, it can be used as a host so there is a software on the computer side I believe on Windows that you can use with this to control it from your computer and also you can hook up a wireless or wired mouse and you can uh, use the mouse wheels and the mouse keys instead of these buttons to control it wirelessly and then you have uh, it, you can save programs up to, I believe, nine. So right now you'll see it says P0. So uh, you can save different voltage and current combinations and recall them later whenever you need them. And then you have right here, it says 26.9. So I believe that's your ambient temperature. Uh, not the ambient temperature, but, but the temperature of the device itself. So let's see how do you turn this on. When you press this key, it turns its uh, output on, and as I mentioned, these two outputs are backlit. Also, when I turn it on, you will see that it's telling me how much voltage it's sending out on these two ports. Because there's nothing connected to it, the current is zero, and so is the wattage. Let's uh, go through the menu of this device. So I'm just going to turn it back off. So this key, as you'll see, it doesn't really do anything, but once you hold it, it can turn the device off and on. So that's what this key is for. It's basically power off and on this device if you don't want to unplug it from the uh, from the wall board or maybe a battery bank, as that's how I'm powering it right now. So that's single press, doesn't really do a lot. Press and hold, it goes into standby. 
if you if you do a double click you'll see this usb uh, on the bottom left this indicator turns into usb h so let me do that again it says usb d and usb h so that's all it does all right now next come to the next uh, key so it's center key when you press it once it allows you to change your set voltage you'll see i'm changing it using this uh, rotary encoder right here and then you can use the arrow keys to select what exactly you're changing so yeah it's actually a very easy ui there you go uh, one thing to note this has a buck converter on the inside what that basically means is your output voltage can never be more or equal to your input voltage so your output and let, let me show you what that means it will not let me go a certain value uh, more than a certain value under the input voltage so see because i'm providing it 20 volts it won't let me go more than 19.41 volts so that's a built-in safety not a safety it's a limitation but yeah that, that's something you have to keep in mind it can go up to 30 volts but for that you'll need to provide it around 31 32 volts on the input so yeah that's that that's the limitation so you you saw what happens when i have single press you start with voltage then you press again it goes to current and then it keeps jumping back and forth you can do a long press and it comes out of that menu let's see what happens when we do a double press so here you have the menu so on the top you have exit from the menu so let's go back then you here you have your over voltage protection so right now it's set to 30.5 volts you can change it but uh, sorry about that i'm not doing this as well so please bear with me all right there we go so i'm going to select this hmm, how do you make changes ah oh, there we go so I can uh, increase or decrease the over water protection like this. Then we have over current protection. Right now it's set at 5.05 volts. Then you, you have your over uh, power protection. So that's the maximum power this can uh, output as the name suggests, DP100. So this can output a maximum of 100 watts. Then you can have an um, over temperature protection. Then you have your uh, RP set. I'm not sure what this means, RP then auto out actually i have the menu right here, uh, manual right next to me so i'm just going to check what it actually means so rp means reverse polarity protection actually that's nice let me turn that on so reverse polarity protection means if you are providing it power uh, uh, by, by using some kind of a, a dc input that doesn't have a usb so when you're plugging in a cable, you cannot really plug in the wrong way. But if you're providing it power from, a, let's say, a lampage power supply or a battery, it is possible to hook the terminals up wrong. So this provides you protection from that. All right, let's see. What's the next one? Next one is auto out. So that means um, on, on its startup, if the output will be off or on, that's all, well, that's all what it means. You saw when I turned it on, the output was off. So that's what it sets. Right now, it's off. PD voltage. So... It basically can negotiate a bunch of different voltages from your power authority power supply. Right now I've set it to negotiate the maximum that my power supply can do. And what this is capable of 20 volts, but you can have it set up, uh, to negotiate a different voltage. This is your backlight setting. You can have it a bit dim or brighter as you uh, prefer. I have preferred to have it bright. Same thing for the volume uh, for the beeper and then USB board. This is the one that we changed from the outside, slave or host languages and uh, language so you can go english probably chinese and yeah back to english all right so let's go back to there we go so we saw what happens when we double press let's see what happens when we uh, press and hold so you'll see this small lock comes on when i press and hold the center key there we go now let's see what this one does we saw that it turns on and off the output when you do a single press so let's do a double press so what, what that does is it changes between power delivery and, and quick charge. So right now, as you see, I did not change anything on this side, but the voltage dropped to 9 because it switched to quick charge 3.0. Let's do the same thing again. And now you'll see that it will jump up to 20 volts. So here you can uh, negotiate a different voltage from your power supply. And let's do a press and hold. 
and here you can select different presets and you can change them as well to your heart's content so if you use a preset a lot you can just come back to it later without having to set it manually all right so if you leave it on any screen for a while it just goes back to the desktop or the main home menu so let me show you uh, the output in action so i'm just going to uh, take this tie off these cables let's plug them here and here all right i'm going to reduce the output voltage a bit because the device that i'm going to use to check uh, or demonstrate this it, it cannot handle a lot of uh, amperage so i'm going to reduce the current quite a bit so i can safely demonstrate on that device what this can actually do you might have seen this uh, in other places on youtube so this is a very very simple dc load and all this does is puts uh, um, high powered resistors in series with the voltage and you can provide uh, you can you can basically test your power supplies on how, how capable they are that's all nothing complicated going on so i'm just going to hook it up directly there we go so let's try to make this work so i'm going to turn on the output and you'll see the the output is coming on right here and also uh, this load is also telling me that it has power so let's try to put the very first uh, resistor online you'll see the power go up right now it's saying 0.25 watts let's go next level up so now that's uh, about 0.2 amps Next, go less level, next level up, so that's 500 amps. These do get really hot, by the way, that's why I'm trying not to touch it. And the last one is one amp. And you can stack them up, uh, one on top of the other. So just to demonstrate the overcurrent protection, I'm just, going to, uh, I'm just going to reduce the total amps that it will put out at one point, let's say two. So at that point, you will see it going into CV mode because it will not provide any more current than what it's already putting out. So here we go at 0.9 amps here we are at 1.3 the maximum it can provide so it's gone into cc mode so cc means constant current on the and on the left you'll see cc bottom left and if i reduce the current load it will go back to constant voltage cv so that's the protection mechanism uh, working properly it's a very simple device i use it for troubleshooting and powering my small projects so i absolutely love it it's not cheap um, you can buy it from aliexpress you can buy it from amazon and depending on where you buy you might get a different price so i'm not going to quote the price for you but yeah i've been liking it very much for my small projects and yeah for troubleshooting i hope you liked the video uh oh, oh sorry let me demonstrate one last thing so let's turn off the output so this cable that it comes with it can be used to provide power to it using the barrel jack so you can provide power to it using let's say a bench power supply i don't have a bench power supply handy right now so what i'm going to do is use this trigger so i can provide it 20 volts from the same cable so that i will simulate a bench power supply basically so you'll see right now it's saying sorry about that that the 20 volts led is on so i'm just going to plug in this end right now into this and it will show me the same thing that it's getting 20 volts so yeah if you if you don't have a pd power supply you can use a bench power supply or any other kind of dc uh, input up to i believe 32 volts and that's how um, that's how you can power it um, almost anywhere so yeah thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video i will see you in the next video till that time bye